Hello my friends, Samarillis here, and today I'm playing a demo from the Steam Next Fest called Ritmos, I believe is what it's called. Um, apologies for the screen dimensions, the demo only had this resolution available, so I did have to um, either stretch the uh, recording or just have black bars. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but you'll see, I'm sure, in this video that you're watching right now. So I did play the first level um, just before this just to get a feel of what the game would be and if it would be something I wanted to record. So I don't know if I'll be able to reset starting from the first level. Um, this is the system, yeah, because I, I checked out the settings and there's graphics, audio, other, back, and quick game. Um, and under other, it was only language options, which there are a lot of languages already, but um, didn't seem to be an option to like reset the demo. So apologies if we can't see the first level, but <laughs> if it's something that you're interested in, maybe you can play for yourself. But um, I thought the first level was really cool. Um, at first I like wasn't really sure if this would be a game that I would like to play because in theory I really like rhythm games, but in practice I'm like only so-so at them. <laughs> Um, okay, so it looks like I can't reset the first level unless I go back and replay it, but um, I think in the demo we there's like three stages that you can play, um, and essentially, let's go on to Mpop... Mpopma? <laughs> we'll start this, and in theory... oh, I guess that didn't start. Can I... music in the solar system is inspired by traditional Mbira music from Zimbabwe. Um... There we go. Okay, I was a little confused on how to start the UI. But this is the this is the solar system, or not solar system, I don't know, planet bit <laughs> that I already finished from the first level, and I guess I'm gonna do the second one here. A wooden version of the original Mbira instrument dates back to the west coast of Africa about 3,000 years ago. The most popular Mbira is the metal tied Mbira, which dates back to 1,300 years ago. Oh, swipe, okay. If you're interested in learning more about this kind of music, you could start listening to Dumisani. <laughs> I, I can't pronounce any of these names, I'm so sorry, but I, I really like how much um, thought and care has been put into like introducing um, this kind of music and even giving you recommendations if you want to hear more of it. The first level um, used the kalimba, like the little metal tines that you play with your thumb. Um, I am not familiar with the mbira. Oh, most of the music played on kalimbas or mbiras are cross rhythm. Rhythm is missing in a Y? <laughs> an I? Yeah, at the end. <laughs> or polyrhythmic. In the original music, the left hand plays the bass line on the instrument while the right hand plays the upper melody. I have never played the kalimba before. Or the mbira, which I guess are related. I did not know those. Um, but they. Oh, yeah, they got a more link, a link to continue looking. Um, but it's definitely one that I've come across every now and then on YouTube that has been really nice. So hopefully. Oh, yeah, we just click to get into it and start the puzzle. So you use your mouse one to kind of click and drag and rotate this little blob. And what you're looking for is essentially like a puzzle. So if we mouse one click into this, what we're trying to do is create a path. Okay, so you start off with this little puck that you see that's outlined in red. Um, usually it's a little easier to see because it's not like covered by something. Um, but you essentially want it to hit all of these little pegs and then still be able to make it back to the start. Um, it doesn't matter for this one, but you can overlap the lines. It's not like snake where like if you bump into yourself, you die. That was something I learned on the first level. Um, this one, ha this seems to have that added trickiness factor of like little things that come back and forth um there you go and you only have to nudge it like a little bit because it always travels as far as it's able to in the direction that you nudge it um so this one's not too bad we're really just going in a square oh, <laughs> just to get the timing right um and you can see because we completed the loop it's now playing its little pattern every time the puck hits the peg I don't know if those are the terms that we're going to use here, but I'm using them. So here's our next puzzle. Um, and you can hear like the little stutters from like the... Like, um, I don't know. These parts like <laughs> going down so it doesn't just flow smoothly. Um, so we'll go here, we'll go here. 
and then let me through. Oh, so you can see here that I completed the loop, but I didn't hit all the pegs. So I'm actually gonna hit this return. I think this just means go on to the next one. So I'm gonna restart um, and think more about what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that obviously doesn't work. You just go back to the start. Um, so I, maybe we start with the middle, middle peg this time instead of going for the far one. Um, okay, this will work, this will work. Oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> so let's see. We tried, okay, so going for the bottom peg first will not work. Um, the middle peg... Maybe we have to use when like some of the things have like an interruption. I don't think we do middle peg first. So we can we can go back. Um, so maybe we just have to do. Ooh, maybe we do have to use like the little interruptions. So like, what if I do like that? Um, okay. Well, this wasn't exactly the solution, but <laughs> I thought I was onto something there. Ooh, or maybe I use the the pegs going down this way. Uh. This might not be it either. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I would. I guess I would have been surprised if they started off off that complex. Um. Okay. So that's that's not good. Um. So I'm not very good at this kind of lateral thinking, but um, so. Feeling like a little rushed while I'm trying to do this in real time with y'all, but um, oh, there we go. I'm kind of the person who like brute forces it until it's done, but um, I'm sure there's probably like multiple solutions per side, so you end up with like this really unique mix that's kind of just completely dependent to you. Um, and we'll keep going here. Uh, okay, so it does, oops, <laughs> it does seem like they're encouraging us to use the interruptions, um, as our little paths here. Oh, no, go back. Okay, this one was a lot easier for me to understand. <laughs> um, but you know what? It goes in whatever order that you choose. So we've added a little, like, clicking sound, a little, like, a woodblock, kind of. This one doesn't look like it should be hard, but maybe it will be. There you go. Oh yeah, you can see on the side like which ones you have completed already and how many more that you have to do. So you can see here that I crossed uh, my own path, but it's totally fine that you did that. Um, this one is next. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe we just keep going? No, because it's a dead end. this path. <laughs> Maybe we start this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! All right, so I finished all of them, all of those with the Impopona. Uh, got some maracas. Oh, hosho shakers. A pair of dried mar maranca gourds. Is that why they're called maracas? They're made from maranca gourds? <laughs> Filled with seeds from the hota plant. A maranca or ma mapuzi <laughs> is a kind of pumpkin. So many music packs. 
Oh, okay, and there's also this feature where you can record your little own additions to the beats. Um, so like if you wanted to hit record, visually too that it's kind of indicating like when the things are gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> okay, well I didn't do that very well. Is it not letting me do four? Of like where it got off beats as well. I just wanted to do a, a four phone up there, but I guess it won't let me. So you can also clear it if you don't really like what you've done. Um, and you can also hit continue. So this is our, our little album that we created. Second one. And then we have one more little planet to go. So we'll go ahead and head into this world. I double click to get into that. Okay. The tongues of the Imbira instrument are attached to a wooden box that resonates. These are often made from calabash trees. The Imbira or Kalimba is also called a lameophone. lameophone? <laughs> uh, the instrument is played by plucking little tines. When plucking a tine, the adjacent tine also creates vibrations, giving the instrument its characteristic sound. Um, many instruments similar to the Mbira can be found. The Mbira is a good example of this. Here, the only difference is that the resonator of the instrument is made from tin cans. Uh, on a kalimba, the deepest notes are always in the middle of the instrument, with the higher notes to the far left and right. The Mbira is tuned by adjusting the length of the metal or bamboo tongues. The longer the tongues, the lower the tone. And there's another link to keep going. So let's go ahead and get started. So maybe this um, solar system planet is just like focused on the Imbira. Okay, so maybe this one is actually like locking us to start with uh, a certain one. So there's this one, and then I think there's like one other. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. I feel like the... am I supposed to time it so it like stops it directly in the middle? I feel like that's gonna be hard for me. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Maybe you can't. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. You have to... you have to get used to this as an obstruction. Okay, there you go. I understand now. <laughs> use. So maybe that is why it locked you to go first. So you understand like the concept of the, the roly friend. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> oh, wow, we did the first and the last one. Okay to overlap. Do not understand. I guess it's fine to overlap, but it can't end in a path that you've already traveled. Yeah, 
podcast so that wouldn't work. Hmm. Alright, well that worked. <laughs> Two more. I mean, you have to go up or down, because if you go left or right, your little thing just gets stuck. So I just need to, like, <laughs> figure out which way you're supposed to go first. So I can complete the loop, but it doesn't have all the elements in it. So I'm gonna try that again. Hmm. I just don't think I can go down like this first. Or maybe... Okay, well, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I guess like visual visual picturing um, of moves ahead of time is not something I'm very good at. <laughs> I kind of have to like do it and see what the effects are. Marimba! I love the marimba. Percussion instrument consisting of wooden bars that you strike by, strike with, <laughs> rubber mallets. You can also use ones wrapped with yarn. Um, but I think the inside is still rubber in the end anyway. The modern Zimbabwe marimba was developed in, this, in the 60s at the Kwangoma College in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, with the intention to teach children music in schools. And then this one um, has different bars. I think you can also hit here instead of on there. not very um, musically inclined when it comes to composing things. I, I was in uh, I was in band when I was younger for quite a few years actually at least at least a decade because I started in elementary school and I played percussion actually. Um, but yeah I've, I've never taken like music theory class or anything to help with composing. never really messed very much with composing either so definitely a skill that I admire that I don't really have. So we'll go ahead and continue. And my guess is that that's probably the end of the demo, but um, we'll see. Woohoo! Now all three are ready to go. Oh, we have new planets to go to? Whoa! Are all these available in the demo? 
German electronic music from the 60s and 70s inspired the music. Oops. <laughs> inspired the music of something. Okay, wow, this demo is a lot longer than I thought it was. So we've got one part here that we have to fix up. German electronic music scene from the 1960s and 70s was highly driven by a principle of withdrawing from American and British pop and rock music. The foundations to the electronic music scene in Germany was formed already in the early 1950s in Cologne with composers such as Stockhausen and Goldberg's. <laughs> You're going to hear how I can't pronounce both things. In 1955, Stockhausen and I'm right. <laughs> edited their first volume, Elektronisch Musik. <laughs> Did not take German in school. Some of the most famous bands from this period are Kraftwerk, Tangerine Dream, New, and Deutsch Amerikanisch Freundschaft. <laughs> All right. Blip. This one's called Blip. I've got quite the distraction here. So we've got little squares at the bottom, which I'm not sure what it does. Ooh, okay, so we go into the portal. It takes us to the other portal. Okay, that did connect because it came out from the portal on the other side. All right, that's gonna be an interesting concept. Uh, we'll play this. So... Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's cool. I don't think I've ever heard this style of music before. I made a loop and only hit one. Uh, ah, I can get back the normal way. I don't have to go back in the, the portal. <laughs> one more. This one. So how you enter the portal how you come out of it. Okay, yeah, that was a little trickier. Had to avoid the food in front of you to get all the food in total. <laughs> Synthesizer. The most well-known synthesizers are the ones controlled with a keyboard. A synthesizer can produce a wide range of sounds and noises. The sound is generated by various oscillators, filters, and electronic circuits. Cool, cool. <laughs> cool. I'm not gonna record anything because I don't think I'm creating anything good. Or is it not going to let me continue until I record something? Okay. It doesn't sound the worst. <laughs> I think if I got rid of one of these, it would be better, but I don't know how to edit something out, so... Alright, that's my recording. <laughs> And if this demo lets you fill up that whole box, that's like so much content just for a demo. So we finish Blip. And we'll do Hemat. Oh, planet is locked in this demo. Okay. So planet is locked for this demo. Are we actually like done? <laughs> I thought there was like way more, but maybe... Uh... That's it. Maybe we try, maybe blue, you can do one of them. 
Zera Sun, Hateda Hiwe Yakup. The music on this solar system is inspired by Ethiopian jazz from the 60s and 70s. Okay, maybe it's it lets you do the, the first three and the first planet with the kalimba, and then maybe one of each of these following two planets. So let's give it a try. Ethio jazz is a unique form of traditional Ethiopian music, jazz, Afro-funk, soul, and Latin music. Ethiopian jazz music had its first golden age between the late 60s and until 1974, where the military dictatorship closed down the music scene in Addis Ababa. Two of the most famous record labels from the 60s and 70s include uh, Amha and Kaifa. All right, let's give it a shot. Also a music genre I am not familiar with. <laughs> um, so the gimmick here looks like lava. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Oh, hmm. Okay, so this one's theme is to push a block to help you cross something. All right, so the block we've got is on the side over there. There we go. Close the loop. Here you are. So this one pushes the middle. Ooh, there's two of them that we can manipulate here. <laughs> this one has a very like mysterious theme to it. Okay, we've got two more this time. Only moved one. But yeah, I'm sure there's multiple solutions on how to get these done. Mm. I'll put this back. Yeah, it's like super mysterious and cool vibes. <laughs> pushed here. This one was like way easier for my brain to comprehend than like the portals or like the little rolling stoppers in the in the first solar system. <laughs> Is that the xylophone? Vibraphone! A vibraphone is the, in the percussion family. It consists of tuned metal bars and is played with four soft mallets. Or two, if you're not very good, <laughs> which was me. Um, Mulatu Astake, one, one of, of the most famous musicians from the Ethio jazz scene, played the vibraphone. A person playing the vibraphone is called a vibraphonist or vibraharpist. Okay, I'm gonna be a little nitpicky here as someone who has played the vibraphone. To me, it always includes a pedal, and that's kind of why it's called a vibraphone. So like the marimba doesn't have a pedal like that. The vibraphone is made out of metal bars, uh, as opposed to the marimba and xylophone, which are made out of wood. And the whole purpose of that is when you depress the pedal, it's just like when you're playing it on the piano, it allows the tones to continue ringing. Um, whereas if you undepress, <laughs> release your foot off the pedal, um, which would normally like be right here under the vibraphone, um, it would dampen the sound. So you can you can kind of have sustained tones or very short tones. So I don't know if the original vibraphone also had that pedal, but I'm assuming yes. <laughs> uh, or I'm just completely wrong and I'm just thinking of um, modern day vibraphones that we play today. But maybe that's one piece of feedback. <laughs> For, uh, for the developer here, who I'm sure it, like knows way more about music than I do. Like I've never heard of these genres before, and I again I really love how much it's researched. Um, but to me, 
That's an inaccuracy uh, with this model. <laughs> this is not a good composition. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna assume that the next couple are gonna be locked for the demo. Okay, thank you for playing! Ritmos will release early 2023. Wishlist has an extra H in here on Steam, follow on Twitter, and continue. So yeah, that was Ritmos. Um, very in, uh, inventive game, very imaginative, um, and I, I really like the the puzzle aspect of it. I'm the kind of person who like really enjoys puzzles, but like isn't very good at them. Um, so I didn't commentate as much uh, while playing this because like no thoughts had empty <laughs> is kind of how I played it. Um, but I really like the music aspect. I really like that you get to learn about different genres and countries and origins of different instruments. I think that's so cool. Um, and if you're someone who really likes to or is looking to get into like composing music, um, this also has like a really cool aspect there where you can record your own tunes. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Samrilla's playing the demo of Ritmos. Um, if it's an interesting game to you, hopefully you wish listed on Steam. I uh, hope you have a good day and that you uh, be kind to yourself and to others. Bye-bye.